Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video you will learn how you can create and export this video just using PowerPoint. You will learn how to create these animated video titles and how to add a music background that plays across the slides. Let's go! Before we get started, I want to say a huge thanks to DataCamp for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneScale channel. DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes it easy to build data skills. You can learn at your own pace with interactive courses and hands-on exercises. What's awesome is that no previous data skills are needed to get started. DataCamp has courses for all different skill levels, from data fundamentals to data visualization to data science coding courses in Python, R and SQL. You can pick a career track, a skill track or a course that interests you. I have recently started the introduction to Python and all I can say is that I really like the learning experience. I can type in the Python code directly into the browser and DataCamp checks if the code is correct. That's super duper awesome! Invest in yourself? Use my link in the video description box below. All first chapters of DataCamp courses are free. And now let's continue with the video. Alright, so let's jump into PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint Office 365 and here on the right side I have a couple of panes open up. I have Selection Pane Format Pane and Animation Pane. And the first step is to insert a video. So let's go to Insert Videos and let's pick any video that we want. I have downloaded a couple of videos from pexels.com. If you'd like to check out these videos, links are in the video description. Now let's make sure that this video covers the whole slide. You can hold down Ctrl Shift keys uh, to increase the size from the center. And if any part of the video goes beyond the slide, we can go to crop options and crop the size of this video so that the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. That's beautiful. Keep in mind that PowerPoint automatically adds a couple of animations so once you insert video clips into PowerPoint. So for now let's delete these animations, we will deal with animations later on. And for now let's decide how long we would like this first video clip to last. Let's say 10 seconds, we can go to playback and click on trim video. And in this field let's just type in 10 seconds, hit OK and now our first video will last 10 seconds. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We can jump to Selection Pane and rename our video to something beautiful, for example Video 1, that's awesome. Alright, now let's select this Video 1, hit Ctrl D to duplicate so that we have two identical video clips. Let's just rename the second video to Video 2, that's beautiful. And now let's make sure that all of these videos are aligned to the center of the slide. And now for the second video, let's flip it horizontally. Alright. Let me zoom back a little bit, so here at the top we have the first video and below we have the second video that has been flipped horizontally. Alright, so now let's put everything back together and now we will insert a text box. So let's go to insert and let's choose text box and let's click anyway on the slide. And now let's just type in some text, I'll just type in a word go, that's good. And now let's center align this text box. As you can see my text box looks a little bit unusual, that's because I'm using Montserrat Black and font size is set to 300, that's super huge and I'm using yellow color with a little bit of transparency so that we can see what's going on behind the text. Alright, so now let's make sure that we select the video number 2, hold down the shift key and now let's select the text box so that both of these guys are selected and now we will use this special button, Merge Shapes. And if you don't see this button inside of your Quick Access Toolbar, you can go to File, Options and now go to Quick Access Toolbar and make sure that you have Merge Shapes button inside of your uh, Quick Access Toolbar. If you don't have this button, you can go to All Commands and scroll down to letter M and you should find the Merge Shapes button easily and then add it to your toolbar. Alright, so once again let's make sure that we select video number 2, hold down the shift key, select the text box and now let's go to merge shapes and let's choose intersect. And this way we have basically placed video number 2 inside of the text box, that's super duper awesome. And now you can see why we have flipped video number 2 horizontally so that it stands out from video number 1. And one more thing we could do for this video number 2, we could add a slight shadow. So let's just select this preset 
and for the transparency let's use 80 percent and let's use 80 points for the blur so that this video number two stands out even better now let's start adding animations let's make sure that both of the video clips are selected let's go to animations and let's select the play animation let's make sure that both of these animations are starting with previous which means they start automatically that's good and now let's check it out on the full screen as you can see both of the video clips are visible and playing right away and let's say we would like this go video clip to appear slowly so let me show you how we can do that Let's make sure that we select the second video clip. And now let's go to add more animations and let's select this fade animation. Let's make sure it starts with previous. For the duration let's enter 3 seconds. And let's add a delay of 1 second and let's bring it up like this in the animation pane. Let's make sure delay is set to 1 second, that's good. And for the play animation of the second video clip let's add 1 second delay as well. Let me jump to selection pane and rename the video number 2. I guess that after the intersection uh, this video got renamed to picture. So let's rename it back to video number 2. That's awesome. And now let's check it out on the full screen. And now as you can see this go video clip appears or fades in slowly. That's awesome. Alright so let's continue with animations. Let's select video number 2. Let's go to add animations and let's select grow shrink animation. Let's make sure it starts with previous. Alright, so let's remember that the length of the video clip is 10 seconds and if we'd like to have one second delay, so the maximum duration for grow shrink should be 9 seconds. That's good. In the effect options we have a growth percentage of 150. That's awesome. And now let's check it out. And as you can see the second video clip is appearing slowly and growing at the same time. That's awesome. And I think we could add one more animation to this second video clip. And that is exit fade animation. So that this go clip comes up, grows and then it fades away. So for the duration for this fade exit animation let's use 3 seconds and delay of 7 seconds. And now let's check out the final result for this video clip number 1. As you can see the go clip slowly appears and grows and then it fades away. That's super duper awesome. And this was our scene number one. We will have four scenes or four video clips in total. And since the procedure of adding the rest of the video clips is completely identical to the first one, I have saved you some time and added the rest of the scenes. So here's after, here is your and here is dreams. So go after your dreams ladies and gentlemen. Don't let nobody stop you. Let me quickly show you how all of these scenes look like. And one more important thing that I forgot to mention is that we have to trim the second video clip to 9 seconds. Because as you remember our first video clip was trimmed to 10 seconds. And since for the second video clip we are using 1 second delay. So that means that the maximum duration that is left is 9 seconds. For the second video clip so keep that in mind that the first video is 10 seconds and the second video is 9 seconds and this is the same timing i have used in all of the slides so for example let's go to slide number two so for this main uh, video clip i have used uh, 10 seconds i have trimmed it to 10 seconds and for this uh, smaller after uh, video i have trimmed it to 9 seconds all right one more thing, I have set all of the slides to auto transition after 10 seconds. So basically when the first uh, video clip is finished playing, PowerPoint should jump to the next one. So let's check it out on the full screen and let's see if it's working the way it should. So here's the first scene. And now we should jump to the second one, hooray. Looks like everything is working fine. And by the way, if you would like to add a background music, let me show you how we can do that. Let's just go to insert and let's choose audio. Pick any song that you want. I'm using a song that I've downloaded from epidemicsounds.com. Link is in the video description. And now in the playback options, let's make sure that we check this song to play across the slides. So it should play across all of these four slides. And in the trim audio window, let's trim this song to 40 seconds because we have four slides, uh, 10 seconds each. And let's add a 5 second fade out for this song so that it fades out 
and it sounds awesome. And in the animation pane, let's bring this uh, song play animation to the top. Let's make sure it starts with previous and we should be set to go. And if you'd like to export your PowerPoint as a video, that's super easy to do. Let's just go to File, Export, click on Create a Video, choose your resolution. Let's go with Full HD and for seconds spent on each slide, let's use 10 because we have trimmed all of our video clips to 10 seconds. Choose your destination and click Save. Now you can grab your coffee or your favorite cup of tea and wait until PowerPoint exports the video. And after that, you can enjoy your masterpiece. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know how you can create and export videos just using PowerPoint. Now you know how you can create awesome animated video titles and how to add a music background that plays across the slides. Thanks for watching everyone, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.